Hi everyone. So I don't know if you've heard this, but there is a new law that just went into effect in Washington D.C. that now allows non-citizens to vote in local elections. So this, when I say non-citizens, I don't mean like legal immigrants like I was for two decades, but this includes undocumented immigrants, DACA recipients, and basically anybody who's above 18 who has lived in the city for 30 days. So imagine this: anybody could leave their country of origin, come to Washington D.C., and within 30 days, even if they came here illegally, they will be allowed to vote. And of course, all this is being wrapped up in the idea of equity and fairness, and so on and so forth. The claim is that immigrants do a lot and contribute a lot to society, and therefore they should be given the ability to vote in our elections. But as an immigrant who waited 18 years to become a citizen, I could not disagree more with this idea. Being an American should mean something, and this effort is an effort to devalue American citizenship. When I waited to become a citizen, I knew that that wait meant something, and I was going through a process that showed that I would appreciate the gift I was getting by becoming a citizen. And if we devalue that and make it so that people can come here and suddenly be allowed to make our laws and change our laws just after 30 days, this is basically the legalization of foreign interference in our elections. And of course, today they're saying it's just for local elections, but since when have you seen? Progressives just sitting down on their wins. Once this precedent is set, what do you think will come next? Because the same logic that they're using to justify this is the same logic that will be used to extend this to federal elections. So, I will be on Fox and Friends tomorrow in the morning, very early. Fox and Friends first. To share my thoughts on this, so I'm going to have it recorded. So set your DVRs if you want to see me live, or I will post the video later on. I hope you have a good day.